I was diagnosed with Cushing's disease in 2013. Cushing's is a rare disease condition, and in my case, it was caused by a tumour on my pituitary gland secreting increased levels of the cortisol hormone. It causes a series of symptoms which often mask as other conditions, hence why the path to diagnosis is so, so long due to its rarity and lack of awareness. For me, it took 18 years to get diagnosed correctly. For such a little gland, the impact it has is absolutely enormous, but it's different for everyone. The pituitary gland is a gland that lies at the bottom of our brain in our heads and it really is often referred to as the master gland as it controls the hormone production in our body. Most pituitary tumours that form in humans are sporadic, so it means that they don't really have a known cause. These are the tumours that occur in adults. There are some tumours that do form that are a result of genetic abnormalities and these are really the only tumours that present at a young age. We found that the most critical and best way to try and manage pituitaries is to have the multidisciplinary team. From our perspective, it involves the primary carer is the endocrinologist, particularly when we're talking about secretory tumours. And they are the ones that do a diagnosis, are able to manage all the hormone derangements and then decide as a group how these need to be managed appropriately. In the case where they need surgery, then it's the neurosurgeon and the ENT surgeon who are involved. We are really fortunate here at St Vincent's because of the multidisciplinary team. It, just, it doesn't cover just the main players, which are the endocrinologist, the ENT surgeon and the neurosurgeon. is so skilled in getting a beautiful approach and giving us a wide access that we're finding now we can get a really clean look at the entire area that we need to remove the tumour from. We also have the neuroradiologists, the neuropathologists, we have the dedicated pituitary multidisciplinary meeting which is on every two weeks and we're associated with the Garvin Institute so that we can then look after all of the types of tumours and establish more and more information about it. The surgical side, uh, when it comes to the day of surgery, is really how, uh, starts off with the ENT surgeon uh, and the neurosurgeon together. And this is a combined approach where we'll sit down preoperatively, we will map out what we need to do, looking at the stereotactic imaging, which is all the scans being put together so that we can do accurate navigation within one millimetre of an area that we need to operate on. It's a fairly critical area to operate, as people can appreciate, because it's the base of the brain. When we're approaching the pituitary gland, it's now done entirely here on our model of the head, entirely through the nose with little cameras. And the only surgery that occurs is here at the level of the sphenoid. There is a critical role here between neurosurgeons and ENT surgeons as we get access to the pituitary gland and then with a team approach are able to peel the tumour off from the very critical nearby structures.